Hello everybody, Killatia here, with some more hit Tales of Incredible Heroes here. Um, as you can see, I can see since the last, um, playthrough of this game, we did some upgrading with our Ultra Heroin. And let me tell you how strong she is right now. Let go to skill here. Oh no, no, not skills. My bad, not skills. Equipment here. Let's see how powerful she is. She got 24,000 combat power. Nearly 14k survivability and nearly 14k of HP as well. And that was by accident, honestly. I didn't meant for her to be this strong so soon. But the reason for that is, um, I used some of my gems to get some. to get some weapons here. Like, a premium weapon times 10 plus bonus one times here. And I actually got a immortal um, weapon here, so I actually used that on her and got that big boost in power. Was it immortal or legend? Legendary, but the highest is immortal. And with the equipment, um, I had some cards for this guy right here that was sent to my inbox, but instead of having him have the epic and heroic stuff, I Move over to her. Move over to her and gave her all the equipment and stuff. So that's why she's pretty much more powerful now. So, yeah, interesting. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Once again, I didn't mean for to become too powerful too soon. But oh well. And yes, I did advance a little bit here. Um, before we go to one nine here, I want to go to back to one five here. Because there's an enemy here, I swear to god, looked like a buff Luffy from One Piece. You all know Mikey D. Luffy from One Piece? Yeah, I'll show you what I mean here. <laughs> if this game blows up. Yeah, right there. <laughs> like, look at, at the way that guy is dressed. It's like a buffed up um, Luffy. Hilarious, if you ask me. And um, this time, last time I played this game, um, it was on my iPad Mini 3. But now I'm playing it on the um, iPhone 6S, and it's definitely a lot smooth, a lot faster. Um, unfortunately, the frame rate's not as good as it should be. Should be at like um, at like 60 frames per second, but I guess. Because the iPhone also outputting to my um, monitor, we're not getting the full 60 frames here. Which is a shame, honestly. And of course we can get some equipments here, I mean some achievements down here, like... 500 gold and then... Yeah, that there's definitely a lot of opportunity to really level up fast early in the game. And just later on, well, it starts to like really drag to the point of to a point of annoyance in my opinion, but But that's why you got multiple characters here, so you know, you don't get bored with just one character being like on a plateau. Ah! Okay, let's get started with this. Let's turn off the field here. Let at least try to play some game on my own. Yeah, that'd be boring if I let the computer play the game all the time. Also, truth be told, I don't mind having auto play go on if I don't really feel like, you know, playing, but more like want to, like, relax. But to each level, I suppose. Yeah, we one hit the boss after. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I said, I didn't mean for it to get this strong so soon. And we got some equipment that's really too weak for her. <laughs> of course, we can claim the thousand gold right there. Yeah, keep that up though, just in case we get that rare um, head of chat headdress there. Get double the chance for that. 
Up here, here comes a little cutscene here. My, my. We have a guest. I don't remember inviting any guests. Leave. It is in your interest to listen to my proposal first. You know, they say ignorance is bliss. What you hear could save your life. Oh, is that a threat? Consider it a show of goodwill. I am offering you a chance to save your life from fate. Fate? I'm from Elferon, the place you call down below. Elferon is massing an army to invade Interra. All who live in Interra will die or become slaves. So what do you want from me? I want three things. First, call yourselves rebels and wreak chaos all over Interra. Second, invade Klein Village and secure the Holy Grail of Fertility. Third, gather mana. Suppose I say no. Unfortunately, I can't allow you to speak of this meeting. I'd have to ensure your silence. Per <laughs> I can't tell if you're really brave or really stupid. You're surrounded by my men, pal. My hundreds of men. A few thousand men might be a problem, but a few hundred? Simple. I would just tell you all to wait in line quietly while I hack you to pieces. However, it would be far easier to compel you to obey. Ha ha! You're a regular comedian. I'm glad you find this humorous. My mind control powers are more effective if the target is in a relaxed state. Otherwise, permanent neural damage can result. Whoa, whoa! If the choice is between I give you what you want voluntarily and you rip up my brain and I give you what you want anyway, I choose the non-brain damage one. But how can you be certain Intera would lose? You should know better than me how your incompetent and greedy king has ruled so far. Do you really believe he could rally a defense against an army of creatures like me? Consider my requests. I'll come by again tomorrow to hear your answer. Yeah, the story in this game is very enjoyable. It's good, like... Like, normally the stories in these mobile games aren't really all that well done, but... Here in Hit, it's pretty good. I mean, not still not console quality, but it's like way better than the average mobile game. At least some that I have played. And like later on in the game, there was like a cute little um, Chip of Mario reference. Um, if, it, if I can find that video, I'll upload in a separate one. On a separate YouTube video. And of course, we don't really need health, but... It's so nice that they give you a chance to um, recharge yourself here. I think there's another boss battle coming up right about here. My control stage, Kalyan. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. And he's down for the count already. Oh, we're almost up to the next level up. Sweet. Yeah, oh, we got some special rewards too. Nice. Claim that. And we'll get that gem as well. And then we'll go back a page here and open up this little chest right here. They're not the real Pegasus on Heck Your Monster, but still good. Okay, let's see for armor here. 
Yeah, nothing like too good here, but that's okay. I'll just go on ahead and enhance this one here. There we go. That way, we get the achievement still. And then we got our weekly missions here done as well. Won't have, won't have the gems right there, please. And then let's go on ahead and enhance this one too. There we go. Okay, we already claimed that one. Okay, no big deal. Okay, let's do one more mission in um, Kelvin Village and because I want to be able to have a level up and showcase another um, feature of this game here. But first, let's turn that off and cutscene. Where have Virbar and Iblis' forces invaded? Only a few sites in line one, Goddess. A host of Seraphim are counter-attacking. Good. What about Earth? Goddess, please don't worry about Earth. Protecting you and line one is all that matters. Earth matters, Regadim. Everything I create, Virbar destroys. Over and over and over. For eternity, with Earth, I wanted to create something that the Lord of Chaos could not touch. Earth is my heart and my soul. This time, I will not allow Virbar to ruin it. The little planet can be recreated. If something happens to you, it's all over. For everything. There is another option. If I channel my power into Line One's five precious orbs, they will explode with divine light. Iblis will be obliterated. My lady, you cannot. We know not what would happen to you. I may not be able to stop Virbar, but I can destroy Iblis. His loss will weaken Virbar. Goddess, please! Earth suffers. The Seraphim must return. It's a matter of priorities, Yeladim. We must protect the Goddess as she lies incapacitated. It's our first, our only duty. Is it not for Earth that she is there? To protect it? I know of her love for this planet. I cannot abandon it. Keeping the Goddess safe is our highest priority. Creation only exists if she does. We will still guard her, of course, but surely a few Seraphim can be spared to watch over Earth? Without us, Intera might survive, but Elpharon is doomed. If Elpharon is destroyed, so be it. I will hear no more. The matter is decided. <laughs> Like I said, the story is pretty good here. And of course, you can also, um, there's also books that you can collect after defeating each stage, each stage, to learn even more, to learn even more about the game's own backstory here. Which is a nice little touch here. Yeah, my archer is so strong, she hasn't even touched her special abilities yet. Crazy. And some of the special effects in this game is good too. And there we go, she leveled up. And there we go, let's go on ahead and check out some of the things up the trials, <coughs> excuse me, the towers of trials here. Gotta work on my pronunciations. 
there. 5,000 gold there. And let's go on ahead and increase her skills a bit here. Increase, yeah, let's go on ahead and increase her max HP a bit. Not that she needs it right now, but still, it's useful. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any time here for now. Let's go on over here and go to the challenge here. To the Towers of Victory here. Yeah, the challenge you can't you can't do to your level 20, but the try I believe you can start at level 5. And there we go, we and each floor you complete here, you get different prizes. Like here right now at the eleventh floor, you can get instant complete tickets, which basically means you can just win the stage instantly, no foul play. Along you have three stars, but the next one you get a hero grade weapon card there. So yeah, it's nice to it's good to come back to the Tower of Trials every time you leveled up and such to get all of these new abilities here. Or new prizes, I mean. I'm going to want to do all the play. And there we go. And we got our instant complete tickets. And then once we're level 12, we can not level 12, level 17, we can go to the to the next floor to get our weapon card there, but we're probably not gonna do that. Um you could also do um PvP and such here and raids and such, but that's where when you clear diff different stages and get up to a higher level. So yeah, my uh, pronunciations could have been better, but that's our uh, that's our next. This is our second look at Head Tells Heroes of Incredible Tales here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be an interesting video. Um. Thank you all for watching it, um, hope you enjoyed this episode, and um, hopefully I'll see you for episode 3 if I ever decide to do one, um, catch you all later.